like preheating this up. Mm -hmm. So basically, it helps to like quicken the whole thing up. So when we're oh, up yeah. to 120 gallons, it's already close to boiling. Yeah, I do the same thing at home. Once I start yeah. filling that, yeah. um, it's, it's a little hot right now, but you can actually from the elements, you can actually feel it vibrating just from. Yeah, well, you can see it in the um, in the tank. That it's really getting to that local boil right, right around the elements. Yeah. It's crazy. It, it comes off the elements like, like gas. It's just, it fizzes it right off the... Wow. It's crazy. Yeah. And it's, it's super hot, so it doesn't scorch it. Right. Yeah. It's actually cool. You, because of how our land is set up here, you can actually take a dander and all the... I mean, so here's the heating elements, and they're just the... Um, L630P, uh -huh. uh, you know, standard dryer connections, uh, all right here. There's the, uh, the breakers up there. Um, this had more control, but they essentially just downgraded it. I was telling Bub, breakers. I used to run um, theatrical staging and do sounds and lights, and this is very similar to what you would run for a lighting system, only then you'd have the light panel in line with the with the uh, the four breakers, and you just run the whole thing with the dimmer panel, and you can control everything. Yeah. Now, granted, you're not pulling the same wattage with a light. I would say, like, you know, dimmer panels don't work too well. Anything over 120 yeah. volts. <laughs> you know, trying trying to do that on 240, whatever is in the, you know, any sort of gaming situation where you're trying to. Yeah, it's gonna be gone. <laughs> Oh yeah. Because I, I was thinking that at first. I was like, that'd be, you know. Just run a dimmer panel on it. Run, run a dimmer panel on it, something I'm trying to pull 50 amps off. Yeah, that'll work. <laughs> <laughs> a couple of Raspberry Pis, it's fine. Yeah, no. <laughs> no problem. And then, you know, I started doing basic. You started doing the math on it. I was like, like, oh, no, no. Yeah, the, <laughs> the raspberry pies will melt. <laughs> Become raspberry jam. <laughs> I, I, I still can't believe I could not get that out from the board to communicate with I mean, I, between Otto and I and, and a few other people I had look at it, people who really know a lot about it. I got nothing. Wow. I, I think it was going to be something as simple as like grab the food crawler, put it out in this little mega. Well, you, you, you would definitely want to look at um, brew pie because all of the. I've looked at brew pie. It, it, it doesn't have everything that I need. No. I'm trying to do way more. But the brew pie, the Raspberry Pi part of it, just acts as a um, a web server. That's it. That's all it does. Yeah. Everything's on the Arduino. Uh, but it sends out all the data to the to the web server on the Raspberry Pi. That that part I, I liked because it you know just gives you the basic information of what you need your you know what all your readings are mm -hmm. what stage it's at. I thought that was great. Well, that's what I'm going to do for my fermentation chamber. Is I'm going to have the you know two be able to run two five gallon buckets and control. I should be able to control the temperature on both of them. So typically. This thing has to give us a problem. So I'll actually turn on the hot water here. Right, so it's pulling more. The demand, and then we turn it on to go over the kettle and it's hot. Yeah. If you only ask for a little bit of water, it doesn't need it. So. Right, it just kind of assumes that yeah. whatever in there is in there is hot and not. So the goal is to get up to 100. Go to 117 and a half. Okay. We, we figured that out once we boil for an hour and with all of our glosses and stuff, we can still get 95-ish gallons in the winter. Okay. If we fill the pre-boil up to 117 and a half, that's like the magic number here. Yeah. So. Mine is about, I could, you know, go up to about six gallons and yeah. I lose a half a gallon in my boil and... Well, I guess we can measure out some hops. Cool. Yeah, got 
pictures. Just need uh, one picture. Cool. What's our number? Um, so, 18. we'll just do it in order and do the first one. Yeah. 18.05? Is that an ounces? Yeah, 18 ounces. Uh, 18.05. No, 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 uh, just start. Just pour, pour it in there? Pour it in there and start, uh, we'll just use that as addition one, keep it in there and pour it in. Touch over. 16, 17, 18. Yeah, just grab them, put them back in. So that's 18, and then. I mean, it, <laughs> there it is, there. on the nose. <laughs> Got it, okay. Zero it out. We're doing a six year, 75 minute boil for the snow. Is there a six year? Yeah. No. Well, that's just something weird. Okay, it looks like it just it jumped. It went from one pound to thirteen ounces. Well, I mean, if it it went a tear, torn again, right? No, basically, as it's falling in, you're Got adding it. more right. weight from the, uh, the collision. Oh, got it. Okay. Right, uh-huh. Uh, okay. No, 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 it should be 45 minutes in. 45 minutes. So the last 15 minutes. Yeah. So it's at, yeah, so this, these are, yeah, this should have been at zero, and then that should have been at reverse. Depending on who's writing it? Yeah, how they write it. So this is boil for 60 minutes, yeah. and then this is boil for 45 minutes. Oh, no, boil, this should be boil for 15 minutes. They use two different systems. That's why. This is the, okay. that's what screwed it up. This okay. should be at 60. This should be boil for 60. This should be 15. So, so. so this really shouldn't be. Okay. This should so be 15. One, 
One is beginning of oil, one is... End of oil. Almost end of oil. The last 15 minutes. Okay. Because the goal is to get the aroma, and if you put it that early in the boil, you're losing all of that. Because all you get is bitterness yeah, no, when you go I for the first 45 minutes. That. Okay. So it's, yeah, it's, six, it's full 60 for the first top edition, and then the so last top edition is the last 15 we minutes. get a boil, we start to counter that. Right, and then okay. that's the same time the work block goes in at the last 15. Okay. So that, the work block and that go in at the same time. And that's actually when the lemon juice goes in too. Oh. Okay. The lemon juice goes in at the same time, which we need to kind of start looking at once we um, do the get the boil going. Yeah, so see the little slide right there, timer four. So I'm, I'm just gonna have this as hour. And then this one I'm going to have forty five uh, minutes. Yep. So that's what he was doing at the timers. That's what the timers were supposed to be. But not, we're not adding the hops at the end of the boil. No, we're adding at the beginning of the boil. Yeah, yeah so his, always, that's correct now. 60 and 15 is boil time. Um, so then what we'll do is basically hit event, start, event, start, event, start. Have them all run basically at the same time. Okay. Most of the time we've got other things going on, like adding a boil clock and two to three hop additions right. that are at different times. Yeah, no, this is a lot simpler because it's just everything goes in at the second edition at the same time. I've learned, I mean, I've learned a lot messing around here, but more than anything, I've learned that I have complicated the hell out of my hop conditions. You know, like yeah. I use like four different varieties, you know. There's something to be said for that, too. If you're doing an IPA, and one of the, the challenges of an IPA is to get something that's different, that you can really